you got people running around with guns and bats and everything else that want to kill each other. You know, I, I'm, I'm just frightened that it's going to be innocent people that are going to get hurt. In the... These grandparents have had their lives turned upside down by methamphetamine. There's no real help to go anywhere and this is the first time after coming to this group that we we're all able to talk about it. They've joined the ranks of people caring for their grandchildren while their own children are locked away for meth-related crimes. At this point in time, I care for my three grandsons. My daughter has, has been incarcerated um, long term, three and a half years. So I care for the children. Donna Hunter set up the group Families Crying Out for Help. Right, I'm not going to be like that guy. They want ads like these made in Canada that warn people in stark terms of the dangers of the drug. They're also desperate for more rehabilitation options tailored to methamphetamine addiction. There's nothing out there for them. So if a family member comes up and says, you know, I, wanna, I want help, we don't even know where to send them. Use of the highly addictive drug, also known as ICE, is escalating in the Territory. Well, we're certainly getting, getting more admissions with people who are psychotic as a result of ICE. Police are making raids every other day. Our seizures are certainly going up. Um, we're regularly seizing over an ounce at a time. There are a few hard statistics on methamphetamine use in the Territory. Records just aren't being kept. But many of those the ABC has spoken to are worried that use of the drug will continue to climb and that younger people, children, teenagers are being tempted to try the drug. It is about when a five-year-old says, when I grow up, are my teeth going to be black like mum and auntie so-and-so? Because mum and auntie are that hooked on the drugs, on the ice. It's that stuff and it's now becoming norm the norm with our kids, that they're accepting this drug usage. They'll do whatever they can to prevent another generation from succumbing to the drug. Ruby Jones, ABC News, Darwin.